All right, welcome to another episode of Implant Pokemon. On today's episode, we are going to be testing out Typhlosion Prime Magnezone Prime. Uh, not my favorite deck. I know it's a good deck. Um, I don't know if it's my list. I find it a bit slow. And in general, I'm, I'm just not certain yet. So I'm gonna start with the Cleffa. And a Cleffa, let's see, Cleffa and a Cyndaquil. Would like to have a Pokemon Collector on the first turn, but that's the way it goes sometimes. So my opponent chooses Tails, I will go first, and I don't top. Let's see here, so uh, looks like six corners, which should be a pretty good test for my deck. Thankfully he laid down two Verizians, which are going to be weak to Rush Ram, which is a relief. And... At this point, I don't really want to Sage. Um, I wouldn't mind getting some uh, fire into the discard, um, but at the same time, at this point, all 60 cards are in play. There's probably too many things in that deck that would come up that I wouldn't want to see. So I will go ahead and eek. Not a bad hand. Uh, we have a collector, uh, a rare candy. So we could potentially get a decent start here. So we're gonna see what else is in his deck. He has not seen any of my lightning Pokemon yet, so he is not aware of uh, Magnezone that's hiding in this deck. So we'll see. I expect him to grab Kiram rather than Terrakion, which would be a good play. And the Shaman, Kiram, Bufalant. So this looks similar to um, Essa's list on the deck out. I assume he drew two, so on the next turn he will be able to do 40 damage. I will go ahead and collect her for a Resh and a Magnemite. And just to thin the deck, I may grab. Let's take a look here. So I've got two Cyndaquils. And let's see what we want to do here. Let's take a look at what's in here. So, one Magnezone Prime. And that's all I see is the one. So I'm just going to go for the two Resh. I doubt he would try to take out my Magnemite, but I've been wrong before. So, lay down a Magnemite. Resh Ram. Evolve and probably should drop an energy and we'll eek again. Hopefully, stay asleep, otherwise, Leaf Wallop will take out the Cleffa. So Cleffa is probably going to die this turn. I assume that's what he's going to take. And I would be right. So I will promote Reshram. I would like to attack this turn. It's going to require a little bit of luck. We're so uh, we'll Sage and... If we can hit a rare candy, we're in good shape. So, uh, very easy decision here. Would like to candy into the zone. Uh, not going to risk it, obviously. We will go for the knockout. He already has one prize on us. And trying to decide here, um, I think I may just go ahead and get the Magneton that's hopefully in my deck. I did not check, and we're lucky. And let's take a look at what he's saying. And I'm just going to give up. 
and lay down the Magnemite. We're in prime shape for Juniper in the next turn. And we'll blue flare. And at this point, I, uh, pressure is definitely on my opponent. So I have the energy. I have, let's see, Kirim's going to be a problem. Thankfully, Eviolite does not work online. Uh, so a plus power will actually take care of it. Um, I really don't know what's wrong with my computer, um, why the game runs so fast, but I can't talk. At this point, I'm thinking this could be a good time. Alrighty, so I got my message off, and like I said, this is probably going to be a pretty easy decision. Um, let's see. Uh, now's a good time to lay a Cyndaquil. And Juniper. Everything is going just fine. Alrighty, so we're going to have a big clumsy hand this turn. Um, I have not seen... My, uh, I would really like a catcher, and then I could just focus on other things here. Um, so I do have my Magnazone. Go ahead and get that evolved. Um, try and lower my hand here and try and get a catcher, or plus power, to be honest. Um, so we'll get the third Typhlosion, second Typhlosion Prime up here in pretty decent speed. And I would like to Junk Arm, but I don't really need anything. I might Junk Arm for a switch just to lower my hand count even more. Grab a switch. And we'll go ahead and magnetic draw and see if we can't get a plus power or a catcher. So I'll take the catcher. And I will go ahead and hmm. Go ahead and blue flare. Oh, so now we have our final problem, which is taking out a Kyurem. Uh, two Kyurems. Um, so Magnazone's probably the only thing in here that can one-shot a Kyurem. Uh, it's not my main attacker here. He's really here just to, well, it, staring down a turn two, Magnazone's scary. And uh, that's something he's going to have to be aware of. I don't really have the energy it's going to take to knock that thing to, to, I can't really lost zone six energy, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Um, so I do a little bit of math here, and I think he's messed up because I can actually now one shot this Kirim. All I have to do is afterburner one time, and now I will be able to do 50. So 110 plus 20, so I'll be able to outrage for the knockout. And at this point, I kind of want another rush ram ready. Um, so I'm going to junk arm for a communication. And I'm trying to think what I should junk arm f out of my hand. Um, I do run a switch, so maybe I shouldn't be that concerned about it. So I'm going to go ahead and outrage for 130. And I think my opponent made a mistake there, and at this point he probably realizes it. And this is actually the first time this deck has actually kind of taken off on the second and third turn rather than the fourth and fifth turn. Um, but we haven't run into a couple of the supporters that I'm not really liking, such as Twins and N. Um, so there's definitely some luck involved here with the fast start. 
Um, I haven't really had to make too many difficult decisions. Um, I think at this point, if he knocks out my rush ram, I'm probably just going to Lost Burn for the win if he does not lay down any basic Pokemon. And we'll see what he does. Um, he can't really catch her because I can just return the KO with another Rush Ram. Because Rush Ram's set right now to go ahead and do 130 damage, which is perfect. Ugh. <laughs> but he will go ahead and fill his bench. Not really... I really don't know what to expect. So, a couple revenge killers. Terrakion. Let's see what he decides to do. I do have a catcher, so whatever he lays energy on may be my target. So I do will have to make a decision here what I want to take out. And I still haven't gotten my plus power. So he's going to go ahead and knock out my rush ram. I still have a switch in my hand, so I have a few options left. And I think we're gonna go for the Terrakion. Actually, he did play a rainbow. So I could power up a Rush Ram and just go ahead and take out. This is my only shot, though, to. Oof. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So this is my only shot to use a Magnezone. I need three prizes. Oh dear. Uh, well, I guess I could super rod the lightning back into my deck so I can draw into it as an option later. And now I want to Pokemon Communication to get a Rush Ram set up and leave my Magnezone option open. Um, so I think I want to Junk Arm away the N and the Lightning. I can't. Man, I just can't Junk Arm for that. Alrighty, I think we're gonna take out Terrakion with Magnezone. I don't think there's anything else I really want to do here, so I will just Magnetic Draw. And I get the Rush Ram this turn. And... Sayonara. So I am effectively removing all of my energy in play. But I have the Switch. And an energy. So obviously that's the only turn I can really use Magnezone. That was, I think, his only hope, because he's back to square one, which is a Kiram with a double colorless. So I'm going to check his discard. I assume he's going to play with four double colorless. I... And he's going to go for Cyndaquil, possibly? Yep. What I see already, though, is the problem. This is why Prism Energy is going to be so good, because Rainbow Energy, he puts himself back into Blue Flare range. So now at this point, uh, I think now is the time to use N, bring him down to a three card hand, and get some other things here. I don't really need to. He didn't play anything on his last turn. And I think I'm just going to not overthink it. And we'll just go ahead. Blue Flare. Okay. 
So we are a plus power away from victory. That's all there is to it. Or catcher. Actually, a catch, catch. Yeah, catcher wins the game. So uh, we'll take out Bufaland and call it a day. I can't think of anything in his hand that's going to help him. I have Switch, and that's. I'm very glad I did not waste it. I guess the only thing that would hurt is a Seeker, but he... Nah, nah I think the game's done. So, the right play is probably to catch up the Magnezone. And probably end his turn, and hope I have no way out. Yeah, I bet, gosh, Eviolite should just work online. This would have been a much more competitive match. Uh, and the keyboard's not working again. So I really want to say good game because it was a good game. Catcher. And good game. So I was actually hoping for. I was actually hoping f to play six corners. Uh, I'm thinking about playing Magnazone Typhlosion in my city's championship, and based on playing in league, there's a lot of Electrode, Kiram, Cabalion, and there is a lot of six corners. So I kind of want to have a Pokemon that can actually deal 150 damage to take care of that Eviolite threat. Um, and just the big basic Pokemon threat in general. This game actually went really well for me. Uh, I didn't really have everything just kind of fell into place and I didn't have a whole lot of decisions to make. Other games I've played with this deck, it's been very slow and clumsy. I still really haven't lost any games with the deck, but there's been a lot of times where it just wasn't a very good win. Um, but uh, I hope you enjoyed this game. So, a thousand damage. I think that may be the first time I've done a thousand uh, in a, an expert game. <laughs>